everyone and welcome back to my channel Well guys today we're going to finally make a Mirabelle doll from the Encanto movie a couple of weeks ago I already painted Isabella and I told you guys that I really love this movie so much I think the story is absolutely amazing the characters are absolutely beautifully crafted really I love each and everyone from the Madrigal family and then I also really love the way it all looks it's all very colorful very pretty very happy this casita with special tricks, easter eggs here and there, really an amazing movie and that's why I think I'm going to make more than two dolls from the Encanto uh, so I already made Isabella, today we're going to make Mirabelle and I think I will probably still make uh, Dolores and I'll probably still make Peppa because Dolores is absolutely beautiful, like she's so sassy and funny, really amazing and Peppa, I think the doll can be really funny with some, I don't know, with some weather features above her head, but I'm still thinking about it, so and today it's finally time for a Mirabelle doll. So this is it, probably this is what I wanted to tell you in the beginning of this video. Of course guys, please, my traditional speech, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you know, we're on YouTube, this is important, likes are important, subscriptions are important, yeah, that's why please support my art here on YouTube with your likes, hit the bell button, and now let's dive into this doll makeover. I have decided to use this Monster High doll as a future Mirabelle, well mostly because of her smaller body type, this is the younger sister Monster High, I think she will be perfect as a teenage girl, also her skin tone is more or less close to what I need and check it out also her hands are perfect to hold an accordion, but anyway guys we will talk about the accordion conspiracy a little bit later in this video and right now let's get this doll ready for a makeover. really need the wolf's ears today so I will cut them off and then I will cover up the holes on her head with warbler thermoplastic.
this I can spray the head with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start working on her face. And we are going for a very, very, very cute face today. Maybe a little bit sad, but also a little bit adventurous. So she should be a really cute young girl. Her skin tone should be darker and also a little bit warmer than the skin tone of this doll. So I will use like always my soft pastels to change it and my watercolor pencils to draw the rest of the face. where I'm going to stop working on her face I think now it's time to work on her hair and Mirabelle has short curly hair this kind of hairstyle I will make out of acrylic yarn because making rerouted hair short and curly is a real challenge if not to say real torture I got curious by the way how they styled the hair of the official Mirabelle doll because she has rerouted hair so I was really curious how they made it short and curly and good looking and guess what they made? Two pigtails. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> guys, this is the solution for short curly hair, two pigtails. It seems they hate making short and curly hair on dolls as well. Well, it was a very interesting discovery. So I started like always with cutting the yarn, tying it to barbecue sticks, and then I'm brushing it with a cat brush. Normally I would straighten the yarn, but I think this wavy hair texture will really help me in creating this curly hairstyle, making her hair more fluffy. So I will keep it like this, wavy, and I will start gluing this wavy hair to the doll's head.
okay, this is the next day and this is what I've got. It looks very good, but of course we still have to style it. First of all, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter and then I will curl it using a barbecue stick and a hot hair straightener. I tease her hair a little bit to make it more fluffy and more realistic, to make these curls more alive. This is what I've got as the end result. Really guys, super adorable hair. It's maybe a little bit too curly and too fluffy, especially here on top, but it looks really, really, really cute and it reminds me of Mirabel's little brother Antonio's hair. Honestly, this is probably one of the cutest hairstyles I've ever created. I love it so much, really so pretty, in love with it today. So now let's attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then we'll move on to her outfit and accessories. And I want to start actually with her glasses, kind of to finish up the head and the face. Mirabelle wears quite big round glasses, they're green with parts of gold, you can see it here in the middle and the sides. So let's try to make them using a pair of green paper clips. It's quite amazing actually that all these different parts and bands of a paper clip are absolutely perfect to make different parts of doll glasses. They fit just perfectly, like really the size, the bands, the curves. Okay, this is what I've got so far and now let's cover with gold all the details that are supposed to look golden.
So here are the finished glasses and I think this is a very effective method of making glasses for dolls. I had to bend almost nothing and the result is absolutely amazing. So now let's probably move on to her outfit and this time it was made by my mom because Mirabelle's outfit is really detailed and really complicated. First of all, there is a lot of embroidery and this is not just some, I don't know, flowers and cute patterns. Each and every embroidery piece on her top and on her skirt has a special meaning. First of all, there are obviously lots of butterflies of all kinds because this is Mirabelle, this is like her sign. Then you can see Mirabelle's name on her waist, on the waist of the skirt. Then there is also Mirabelle's face on the skirt. The flowers are for Isabella. The candle is for Abuela. Animals are Antonio's friends. Weights are for Luisa. What else is there? Ah, the cloud and the sun are for Peppa. Oh, I don't know, so <laughs> it took my mom a couple of weeks to finish all these colorful patches. She didn't really film that much of it because it was like a big work. I don't know, it was stretched in time. But here is the end result. And this is really beyond beautiful. The butterflies are here and also the red one here on her shoulder made out of a red thread, exactly like in the movie. The name is on her waist, it's there, the flowers, the candle, the animals are my favorite, especially this one. He made me really laugh in the movie. It was really like in one scene and it was extremely funny. Here are the cloud and the sun, the weights, I don't know, everything is here. Ah, the face is my other favorite. I wouldn't mind, by the way, a real size pin or patch like this, it's really cute. Then these tassels are really super adorable and plus here is also an underskirt with this tiny cute pants and also an embroidered back. I don't know, everything is so, 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 so beautiful, so realistic, a real masterpiece, I think, really an amazing outfit. So now I'm going to make a pair of espadrilla sandals for her out of warbler thermoplastic and they have to be pretty, you know, this outfit is so beautiful. Now all the details must be as beautiful as the outfit. When the basic shoes are finished, I twist the thermoplastic and I attach it to the sides of the soles to make them look more like kind of similar to espadrillas. We can paint it all with acrylics and add shadows with soft pastels. I've 
got these cute water stickers with blue butterflies and now I'm going to transfer them to the shoes. I think it will fit the character because of the butterflies and also the outfit because of the color. The shoes are finished, they look super colorful, absolutely adorable, they go really good with the outfit, so I'm really happy about it. Now let's probably quickly blush her body, really like very quickly, to make it the same color like the face. And then we'll talk about the accordion, because there is something strange going on, guys. And now guys, let's talk about the accordion because there is something strange going on. Look, I've seen many of those official Mirabelle dolls being sold with an accordion. But Mirabelle never played an accordion. Accordion appears in the movie, I don't know, for 10 seconds probably. They throw it to her and then she throws it back to them. That's it. <laughs> this is done with the accordion. But I think there is more to it because if you look at this accordion, it's not just a random one, just the one from the market. The color of the accordion matches the color of her glasses. Then look, here is a big butterfly. This is like Mirabelle's symbol. I don't know, I think there is really much more to this accordion thing. Maybe there was some line with an accordion that was dropped later. Maybe some accordion line will still come if they really go for this series about the Madrigal family. But there is something going on with this accordion. If you google uh, accordion and canto, you will see a lot of really kids accordions from Disney being sold as Mirabelle's accordion. But Mirabelle has no accordion like what is going on so there is some accordion mystery but i've decided to go for the accordion as well just because i really want to make one like i've never made an accordion i think it would be fun and also these dolls hands are really sculpted like or to scare people or to hold an accordion so let's go for an accordion and maybe later we will know what's up like why is mirabelle associated with an accordion if she really never played it I I used to make paper accordions at school, now I just need to somehow recall how exactly I did it, I don't really remember it that well, but normally it wasn't difficult. I'm using this kind of paper simply because it's easier, I don't need to draw any lines, it's already here, and these lines they won't be visible after I paint it all with acrylics. So I folded the sheet of paper and I glued the long sides of it together. Then I fold it again one more time and after this I start folding it following the vertical lines. Okay, it looks good, now we can unwrap it all and start forming the accordion. This part is a little bit tricky, but it's not really difficult, you just kind of need to get how to fold it.
is what I've got. Check it out. This is all very good, but I don't really like the proportions of it because look, this is square and I want the height to be bigger than the depth of it. I don't know if you can fold it immediately like this. I couldn't find anything about it online. So I'm going to do it my way. I will cut it in half. I will make it a little bit shorter and then I will reconnect the parts together and then glue them back. Yes, now it's perfect. Now it looks absolutely perfect. You see what I meant about the proportions. Now it looks right and now it looks really good. So let's make the sides of the accordion using a piece of a foam board. And then we'll glue the sides to that paper thing that I've just made. Perfect. And now let's paint the doll with acrylics. So here is the finished accordion after a couple of days of working on it and you know guys it looks so 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 cute I'm absolutely in love with it and it's still kind of functionable of course it doesn't make sound but it works 
I'm really happy I went for this accordion project, even though I don't really know what it has to do with Mirabelle. But anyway, I had really a lot of fun with it and the end result looks absolutely adorable. So now we are almost done, there is just the last teeny tiny detail left, a pair of blue earrings. And I'm going to make them out of a foam paper. I'm attaching these blue tassels to the base of Monster High earrings and we're done guys! Now with these earrings she really looks like Mirabelle, it was the very necessary finishing touch. So and now we can finally take a look at the end result pictures. Well guys, here is my finished Mirabelle doll and this is probably one of the coolest projects I've made lately. Probably because of all these details and the accessories. And you know, I really had a lot of fun working on it. For example, like making glasses out of paper clips. That was fun. The accordion was a lot of fun <laughs> really making it. Making shoes out of warbler is always my favorite. And you know, even making her hairstyle and tiny earrings was a very interesting and joyful experience. Experience. The outfit made by my mom deserves a special mention, I think. So guys, send love to my mom, please. She's always reading the comments. I think it's extremely pretty, very colorful, and it looks exactly like the Mirabelle's outfit in the movie. So yeah, guys, I really hope you had fun watching this video because I definitely had a lot of fun working on it. So please let me know what you think about it. Let's discuss it in the comments. And I would also like to know if you want me to make more members of the Madrigal family, like for example, Dolores or Peppa, like I said in the beginning of this video. I would absolutely love to, but I don't know if you want to watch it. So please let me know. Well, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay for three days like always, so please check it out. The link is in the description box under this video like always. Maybe this one is for you. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon on Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.